acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land on which we celebrate this occasion and extend our respects to their elders past, present and upcoming. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, our inspiring speakers, our Korean elders, colleagues of associated ethnic organisations and my fellow Korean brothers and sisters. Happy Korean New Year to you all. We appreciate your, pres um, your patience and your presence throughout this jam-packed first part program um, and I promise I won't keep you too long. Ladies and gentlemen, the New Year Day is not just a grand day for the Korean as we enter our Korean era of 2763, but it is a special day for us all around the world. It is a day where we mark a time for new beginnings, a time when we truly reflect on our personal and collective journeys, a date we set to resolve for changes and improvements in our lives, and the best time for our thankful selves to spend with our favourite people, families and friends. As this day is purported to be met with much happiness and light hearts, I will not dwell too much on the reality of conflict which is occurring overseas and in Myanmar as we speak and as we celebrate this current new year. I will, however, make a very brief mention of the great duty I, as a first-generation Australian-born Karen, have to raise awareness for the pain and suffering of our fellow Karen brothers and sisters today. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a duty one does not hold lightly, and today I openly invite you all to draw strength from the blessings you have received in the previous year, and be inspired to wanting to make a difference and be the voice for those suffering. Please join us as we continue to fight for our current plight and may we all dedicate this coming year to that. By way of vote of thanks, I would now like to um, put the serious part to one side and thank all of the participants in our program today that includes our guest speakers, uh, Ms. Julia Finn, Member of Parliament for Granville, uh, Ms. Adama, Adama Karama, the Kamara, sorry, the Deputy CEO of Refugee Council of Australia, Mr. Lachlan Murdoch, Deputy CEO of Starts. Ladies and gentlemen, may I invite you to give them all a round of applause? And whilst if they weren't able to attend today, I would also like to thank Dr. Tuang Shui, the National Unity Government of Myanmar representative to Australia, as well as um, Ms. Melissa Montiero, the CEO of CMRC, for putting forth their um, addresses for today's program. Ladies and gentlemen, the Korean New Year celebration isn't a program um, which we could have managed without the great help of our MCs, that is Ms. Tasneen Rock, Hollywood fame star, um, as well as Salula, who's also quite famous and renowned in our Korean community. Ladies and gentlemen, please give them also a round of applause. I would also like to take the time to thank our wonderful performers um, who presented to us the very intricate bamboo dance that is the Korean Youth of Sydney. I'd also like to thank the Korean Youth Sydney Don't Dance Girls, as well as the, um, the Girls and Boys Dance as well. So ladies and gentlemen, please give them a round of applause. On behalf of the Korean community of Sydney, I'd also like to thank our other performers, whom are the Bethesda Korean Baptist Church, who um, rendered a lovely song for us, as well as the Korean Community Language School um, of Sydney. Please give them a round of applause. And last but not least, um, as we wrap up the first part program of today, I would like to thank you all for coming along on this very, very hot day, um, being all cooped up in here and spending time to acknowledge the current era that we're about to enter, which is 2763. Um, I'd invite you all, I'm not sure if um, Tasneem and Sa has already done so, but we do have an entertainment program following this. So, um, lovely to see you all, all these familiar and new faces as well. 
um, and we just thank you for your time today. So Happy New Year to you all.